If you're the proud owner of a sprinter or a crafter, then watching this video could literally save you hundreds of pounds. Now, although one is made by Mercedes and the other one is made by Volkswagen, one thing is exactly the same, and that is the aerial on the roof. And this is where the trouble begins, especially if your van is over 10 years old. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's all the fuss? Your aerial leaks, you get a little bit of damp inside the van, no big deal. Well, here is the problem. This light cluster is directly underneath the aerial that is on the roof of your van. So if your aerial leaks, water is gonna pour onto the back of this light cluster. Now again, you may be thinking, oh, well, what's the big deal? The big deal is that this is more than just a light cluster. It does more than just light up the interior of your van when you open the door. It actually controls your immobilizer and the alarm system in your van. And if this gets damaged or wet and stops working, you're not going anywhere because your van will be immobilized. Now, whilst it's always a good idea to learn from your mistakes and your misfortunes, it's also a good idea to learn from other people's mistakes and other people's misfortunes. And that's what's inspired me to make this video. My very dear friend, Michael, from Whipperdeet's Adventures actually suffered the misfortune of his aerial seal leaking and water ended up on the back of his light cluster, destroying it and pretty much making his van immobile and he was forced to go out and buy a new one. Well, not a new one, he managed to find a second hand one, but even then I think he paid over £450 for one from a breaker's yard. So goodness knows what they cost brand new. I would shudder to think of the price of these. So I'll dedicate this video to Michael at Whipperdeet's Adventures for sharing sharing his misfortune and enlightening everyone else. Now, I'm not about to go on the roof of my van and change the seal on my aerial because quite frankly, I think you're gonna need scaffolding to do that. It's in a really awkward place. So what I'm gonna do is try and protect my light cluster just in case that seal does ever leak. And I've come up with a really simple hack and I'd like to share that with you in the hope that nobody else suffers the same misfortune that Michael suffered. Now, a couple of mornings ago, when it was really cold and frosty, I actually woke up and found all my roof lining was damp. I, you can actually see water stains here and here. You can see where it was damp and wet. And I was absolutely horrified. My immediate reaction was, oh no, my aerial's starting to leak. But as it turned out, it was just condensation. But nevertheless, when I pulled my light cluster down there was a few damp spots on it so that's what got me thinking I really do need to try and protect my light cluster from any water that may drop on it whether it be from condensation or my aerial leaking so this is what I've come up with and I did this out of sheer panic the other morning I simply stuffed a carrier bag up in there so that if any water drops down it won't go onto the back of the light cluster. But since then, this was a couple of days ago, and I'm pleased to say it's completely dry. I've come up with a more, a more neater solution and that's one of these food bags. So what I'm going to do is simply stick this food bag over the top of the back of my, over the top, over the back. I'm going to stick this food food bag on here so that when my light cluster's in position, if any water does drop down from my ceiling from dampness or the aerial leaking, like I say, it's going to protect my light cluster. And I highly recommend you guys do exactly the same. Here we go. What I'm going to do is simply put that bit of good old gaffer tape on there like this. Stick it in place on the back of here like this and then hopefully that is going to stop any water getting onto the back of there like that and then put it back in place. Nice and simple to try and stop any water getting on that light cluster. Just tuck it in like that. You get the general idea. Try and protect that light cluster if you can. Just simply use some polythene. And by doing this, not only is my light cluster now protected from condensation, it'll also stop it from being destroyed if my aerial should ever leak. Now I've made quite a few videos on YouTube with hints and tricks on how to save money in building camper vans, but I highly recommend watching this one because it could potentially save your life. Thanks for watching, ta for now. That's it, not too much. <laughs>